Hello everyone, welcome back to Foxtech, which is a channel on YouTube which shows you multiple different tutorials which are going to help you with your Apple devices. So it's a very useful way that you found this. So let's just get started with the way on how to remove passcode on Apple Watch. It's a simple process and you can begin well like this. So you don't even need the iPhone, you can do it entirely on the Apple Watch. So locate the settings on your Apple Watch and as you are in the main section, you just have to scroll down through all of the options and go to the red one which says passcode. You can see you have the option to change passcode or turn it off completely. So if you turn off the passcode, click on it, there is a very important pop-up. Your cards used for Apple Pay will be removed. So in case you want to use the Apple Pay way or if you just want to pay with your Apple Watch, then this is not going to be possible anymore in case you remove the passcode, which for me is one of the few reasons why I actually use it. Without it, I don't think that my Apple Watch would be secure with a passcode to begin with. But yes, you can always just turn it off like this, turn off, and now you have to confirm it by typing the passcode in once again. This is a security measure, of course, to make sure that someone else doesn't just grab your Apple Watch and just turns off your passcode like this. So the, these are the security measures, but you can turn off the passcode easily. And as I mentioned in my video where, where I talked about changing the passcode, you don't have just the four digits passcode available. You can see when the simple passcode option right inside of the settings page, right in here, when this is turned on, your passcode options is limited to just four digits. It is fine for most, most people, but in case you want to make your Apple Watch even more secure, you can disable this option. So you enter the current passcode and the new one can be as long as 10 digits, which to me is really something that makes the Apple Watch a lot more secure. So another option to keep in mind. Okay, but things to keep in mind when turning off the passcode include, uh, as I said, the inability to use Apple Pay or to pay with the Apple Watch in the future, which is a deal breaker for me. But it also poses or makes sure that your Apple Watch is vulnerable to security risk. So anyone who just finds your Apple Watch laying on your table can just get inside and browse through your messages, personal data, whatever you have there. And Apple Watch is a reflection of the iPhone. So a lot of times there are going to be many sensitive pieces of information available there. So I would keep that in mind. And also on authorized risk is the same thing, but you should keep that in mind. Yeah, so that would be about it. I hope the video helped you out. I really do hope that you found it valuable. For more tutorials like this one, make sure to subscribe to the Foxtech YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you in the future. Peace out, guys.